What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna switch it up today. Here we have the Welsh National Anthem. Just before Wales beat England, 30 to three. 30 to three? Oh, it's rugby. Uh, I was thinking football for a second and I was saying 30 to three? That would be a ridiculous blowout. Uh, Saturday the 16th of March, 2013. Simpler times when we could have massive amounts of people congregated together. I know that that is still happening. You know, that's happening right now. I, I don't know, you know, you specifically watching. It may or may not be a possibility where you live. But right now where I am, no. Uh, people are very, very scared. And um, there's no live events really at all. No indoor dining where I am, let alone going to uh, you know a live sporting event. So Wales, of course, is uh, one of the constituent countries in the United Kingdom, along with Northern Ireland, Scotland, and you know England, of course, and and uh, Wales. So yeah, uh, I've watched basically what I've learned about Wales is from like television programs for the most part, but. Uh, I'm sure this will be emotional, um, you know, their national anthem of, of Wales. And let's have a listen, everybody, and see if it touches my heartstrings. Hope you're having a wonderful day out there in the big, wide, beautiful earth. Let's check this out. Sorry, I thought that was Ramsey Bolton. Okay, let's go, you guys. things about national anthems uh, you know that sense of unity um but not just that the pride that you can see with these guys faces the atmosphere in that arena and just sort of that feeling that it can give you uh you know in a large group of people and that cacophony of sound that you can generate when you have that many voices singing in unison such a you know a unifying tune that they all you know, are willing participants in, in, in making, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. I got to say, uh, you know, Canadian, Canadian national anthem. Um, it's a beautiful thing, like very simple song. And I, I'm not familiar with the Welsh language, but I'm sure it's, uh, these guys I, and yeah, this is great, man. Um, love sports and, uh, those moments in sporting events like this are just great. <laughs> love that I don't know if that kid there at the end was one of the participants one of the players children that was always a great thing I think um, in you know football in, in the United Kingdom or wherever Premier League wherever is that a thing like where the the players run out quite often with like um, 
a partner, a kid, and then the, you know they give that kid that really really cool moment of, of running out on the pitch with these professional athletes. Too bad we couldn't have something similar in in the National Hockey League. A lot of the times, uh, or what's happened in the past is they'll have like a kid or you know a couple of kids, and they'll. I remember one game I was at. They let the kid go on the ice before everybody else, and this is in a packed stadium. I can't remember if it was a playoff game or not, but they let this little kid go on the ice and skate around a few laps by himself, you know, and just take in that crowd and that atmosphere. And people started cheering him on, and it must have been a lifelong memory for that child. And that's that's just you know, sports. That's what it is, right? It's like it can get nasty. People get hyped up. People get crazy over their sports. Um, but yeah, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> cool. Good stuff. Let me know uh, if I should check out anything else that you would like me to see. But that's beautiful, man. Emotional. You can see it on specifically the players' faces. And a lot of the spectators as well. Uh, yeah, good stuff. All right. We'll see you soon. Later.